So when I was in high school, my mom sits me down and she goes, okay, Shannon, your virginity is like a pack of gum. <laughs> if you take a pack of gum out in class and you offer someone a piece, everybody else is gonna want a piece too. <laughs> mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, <clears throat> Then if a boy you really like asks you for a piece of gum, you're not gonna have any left <laughs> and you'll be sad. Okay. There are like a million things that are problematic with that metaphor, like running out of gum. But I didn't know that. I was in high school, so I'm just trying to make sense of it. I'm like, okay, I got a pack of gum. That's like 12 pieces before I have to find the right guy. You know, depending on how many I chew myself. <laughs> and what kind of gum am I into, you know? Because you got a lot of gum out there, like, like bazooka. Bazooka comes with a comic, which is fun. But any gum that is trying that hard to prove it's funny is overcompensating for something. <laughs> then for a while I was like, you know what, maybe I should chew extra. Because right on the packaging it says extra long lasting. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> I can chew all night. And then your friends tell you the only thing that matters is size, right? So you're like, mm, big league chew? I don't know. But I mean, ha ba ba ba. <laughs> Hurts your jaw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and on top of all of this, <laughs> in every other conversation I ever had with my mother, she was always like, Shannon, don't swallow your gum. And that just made things even more confusing. <laughs> I love my mom, but that metaphor is trash. <laughs> so when I have a daughter someday, I'm not gonna tell her it's anything like sharing gum, but I am gonna tell her it's a lot like when the popular boy asks to copy your science notes. Cause like, you're gonna do all the work. You're gonna learn all the anatomy, you're gonna give him everything he needs. And then he's gonna be the one who finishes first in the class. <laughs> it's a good lesson.